Hey, everyone. Welcome to my show, my so-called fabulous. I'm Tiffany. Hey, everyone. It's so great to talk to you today. But actually, today, we are coming to you live recorded from Neiman Marcus Clear Fork in Fort Worth, Texas. And we are beyond thrilled. So, everyone, this is our very first out of studio experience. And so we are so excited. And the number of people that I'm looking at, you can't see, but you will be able to see this on YouTube for sure. But you can't, you, you can hear me, of course, but everyone, I am looking at the most fabulous men and women. Many of you that have been part of my lives in person, many of you part of my lives through social media and I can't even tell you how honored I am for you, for myself to be here. So thank you. Thank you, all of you. So we are talking to you today about Spring Trends 2022. And I'm bringing to you for the third time, this woman has been in my life for a long time. And I have just tagged her along with the podcast. And everyone, please meet Bonnie Smith with Shop with Bonnie. Hello, everyone. Hi, this audience is gorgeous, first it's of all, beautiful. and I'm really excited, y'all, to bring some fun life to these trends. You know, we all see everything come down the runway, we see Instagram ads, and we want to know how to incorporate these trends into our everyday life. So as a stylist of everyday women, you know, and celebrities, um, I think it's important to speak to how to bring those items to life for us, integrate it into your wardrobe and, and enjoy it. So yeah, excited. And we are, the trends are fabulous and we're going to, oh gosh, they're better than fabulous, but we have two wonderful models this evening. We have eight looks and, um, but I do want to remind you, if you want to hear more about Bonnie, go to episode number 56. Yes. We are recording 109 this evening. That's crazy. I mean, it is crazy. And then episode number 78, we got a little personal and got a little down and dirty. Yeah. I had to take yeah. my shoes off and cross yeah. my legs yeah. and to cry yeah. a few tears yeah. on that one. True so, story. True story. Not tonight. Not tonight, <laughs> though. But we are beginning, and you will see a cue card with the trend, and you will have in front of you. And um, we have this on my website. We will have this on my blog, Tiffany C. Blackman. We'll have all the spring 2022 trends. We're going through each of these, and we are going to try very hard to make this as you can hear us and you can see us and visualize yes. as well. So here we go. We are starting with Molly. Molly, come on in, and we are talking about the blazer, everyone. Ooh. So first of all, Molly's wearing this gorgeous tweed blazer by Cinca Sep. It's mm. embellished with all these amazing crystals to kind of give it a pop. And I've paired it back to separates by Veronica Beard and this to die for mossy green YSL bag. So we're noticing the blazer y'all. It's not just for the working woman. It's for the everyday woman. It's like the piece that polishes you up on cutoffs, on sundresses, on denim. It can really, really capture a look. I think I'm going to have Molly, would y'all like to walk and let her walk around and just see if we can walk through, Molly walk through with the blazer, because that's not your grandma's blazer right there. No. <laughs> I mean, that is stunning. Now, okay, you paired that with two totally separate prints. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me about that. Okay, so I tend to, when I'm, when I'm combining two different prints, I like to do one with a large scale size print and one with a small scale size print. Kind of like you would do a stripe with a small polka dot or vice versa. I've done a small scale floral with kind of a larger scale floral. Um, it helps when you use the same designer because then your hues are going to match. But um, if, if color blocking and mixing prints is new for you, just try it. Look in the mirror, see how you feel. And, um, you know, always putting a neutral piece around it will calm it down and bring it together. Now, Bonnie, she had a nude shoe with this, okay? Oh. So tell me about you. that just a long length the leg, yes. correct? Yes. I mean, that's just a nude shoe. Yes. It looks fabulous, yes. right? Yes, we, we definitely need nude shoes, uh, nude shoes in our wardrobe. 
to bring down the prince. So now we have Alicia, and y'all, the tailored shorts are back. Now, when I went through sorority recruitment, I had my gap shorts. This is not your gap shorts. So (laughs) tell us about this. Yes. The tailored short is our updated version of that tried and true kind of trouser pants. So you're going to notice pin tucks. You're going to notice shorts that are in tweed, boucle, brocade. It's a dressy version that can go day to evening. So this one is by Alice and Olivia. It's a vegan leather. Mm. The color of the turquoise is incredible. In Texas, it's a neutral. Um, And, you know, I think that you can take these shorts out to a dressy evening with a pair of heels, but I would also pair the tailored short with your favorite striped tee and a sneaker. It's just going to polish you up in a good, good way. I love the vegan leather, and actually in the audience is um, Style Beyond Age. Sonia, she did a fabulous blog post on the difference between <gasps> vegan leather, yes, yes, yes. and vegan leather and yes. faux leather. So, know, any thoughts on that? It's just, it is, it's fabulous. I mean, it, it certainly lowers your price point. Um, it, it's definitely easier on the pocketbook, but also it, it tends to have a little bit more movement to it than actual leather. Um, yeah, a case by case basis. Love it. So tell me, uh, I absolutely love, this has nothing to do with the tailored short, um, the feathers, y'all. I can't, I can't even, they're fabulous. Okay, so the feathers are, well, they never went away, but we've always been used to feathers for cocktail only. Feathers are not a special occasion piece. We can wear them back to denim. We can incorporate them with a denim jacket. And so this piece specifically, I kind of pared back so that you can show some easy glam. And it's very feminine. Adds texture. I love it. I love it. Okay. The, the, you did not put a belt with this. And you have tried so hard for me to not always belt. Yeah. Is that a truth? I mean, <laughs> yeah, you did. So, okay, my thoughts on belting. If you want to make a statement and really show off your waistline, cinch up. Absolutely. I mean, however, some people are distracted by an outfit when you have a really large belt happening. So I tend to dress you without a belt when you're heavy on the print or you've just got a lot of layers going on. I think it kind of keeps it calm and not trying too hard, so to speak. So, yeah, I mean, I think if a nude belt never hurt anybody, if you need to. You know, so the looks that we have, the looks that we have, they may be a little more high price point. But tell us about this, Bonnie, when you when you're just in your closet and trends. OK, you want to go ahead and go yeah, with that? Go for it. OK, so when we have trends. Oh, hold on just a second. I, oh, oh. She'll stay. OK, uh, when we have trends. How do you select which trends to purchase? Like if if the higher price point versus a lower price point? Great question. With a trend, you want to see how it's going to suit your lifestyle. I mean, I'm all, all for investing in a good piece that you could see yourself wearing frequently, bottom line. If you feel like it's something that you hesitate, maybe choose to buy it um, at a later time or maybe try it on the lower end before hitting designer. And and then that'll kind of give you um, a little bit of ease into trying something right off the bat. Okay, so we have on our next look on Molly. Um, there's so many things I just love about this, but the, the trend, the whole thing. But the trend is chain jewelry, and I actually... My, uh, Bonnie had me rock my chain jewelry tonight. Mm-hmm. But um, tell us about chain jewelry because it's hot. Well, it's been hot, and it's stuff that we already own, you guys. There's a lot of ways to um, layer what you already have. You know, all those amazing devices that you can buy that connect all of your necklaces where you can wear multiples and make them comfortable. But I love the texture that chains provide onto solids that are spring. So it's an easy way to add a quick touch of metallic, I put it back to this gorgeous tangerine frame blouse. And so you can even do a head-to-toe white look or a monochromatic look. Add your chain jewelry, and it gives it the coolest edge. Okay, I'm going to stop you because I have these jeans. And I think they're Paige, right? um, They're still in the bag because I do not know how to style these. (laughs) 
Um, <laughs> She's waiting for she me I'm to waiting come over. Next Wednesday at 1030. Um, um, these jeans, I just, I love that. Do y'all love these jeans? They're mm -hmm. so fabulous. Mm -hmm. So how do, what do you pair with that? You know what I would pair with it, Monty? A white t-shirt. A white t-shirt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So well, we're going beyond the white t-shirt. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm actually pairing these back to silk camis, um, any kind of a cool little print. And it should be a daily wear sort of pant. It's got a lot of, um, it's got a lot of cotton and it's got stretch. So it's an easy tie waist. You don't need a belt. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, you know, you can dress it up with your cool girl jackets, add a silky to it to kind of give it something other than a t-shirt. I'm rarely that girl that says just wear a t-shirt. So, you know, thank you, Molly. Love it. You know, and, um, I love that. I love the look. I love the jeans that they're like a Chino looking jean. Am I yeah. wrong? Here? No, Am yeah, I wrong? Okay. absolutely. It's polished and professional. Right. But still comfortable. Okay, guys, I have old lady feet. So um, I have to, this, this, this trend is on point with me because it's chunky sandals. And I'm at the point in my life where I need a block heel at least. So chunky sandals, do tell. Yes, turn your attention towards these Valentino rock stud chunky sandals. They're incredible. Um, excuse me, correction, they're a Roman stud because we upped the size of our studs now. We're not tiny rock studs. So the Roman stud sandal, um, it is something that's been done actually for a couple of seasons now. You've seen it by Chanel. You've seen it by Balenciaga. But we're wearing them with feminine pieces, y'all. Oh, so don't be afraid to add to your level of comfort and pair it back to your sundresses. And it almost kind of gives you a little bit of street cred. And it's very comfortable and cool. Throw your crossbody over your dress or your separates and then add your chunky sneaker for a fun statement. Alicia, are they comfortable? They are comfortable. Okay, the black, I'm gonna, I, I just have to be honest, the black throws me off, but just get yeah. over it. I mean, black is edgy. So, yes, mm -hmm. I mean, it, you can go with a color if you just mm -hmm. want something a little more subtle. Um, Chanel's doing one in a tweed. We've got all kinds of variations of it. So you kind of like pick your poison and you can make them just a simple statement. Thank you, Alicia. Love it. I love that. And um, I love the bright pops of color this year. Just mm -hmm. it's a lot of bright this year, right? It is a lot of bright. And I think, too, you can refresh refreshing your color schemes that are in your closet can be life-changing you know sometimes you see cycles of like corals and pinks and different vibrants and the electric colors change out so you can look a little more current just by updating your colors for the season and then just mixing and matching with your older pieces. So Bonnie, tell me this. So let's say the average consumer could not purchase a pair of Valentino chunky sandals. Mm -hmm. What is Neiman Marcus bringing to the game that mm. people can afford? Okay, a great thing Neiman Marcus is doing is promotions galore. So I really encourage my clients, if you don't have a stylist like myself, make a great connection with your retail associates. They are in the middle of the store every single day. They can communicate with you when items go on sale, when there's a great gift card promotion. And then if you're investing in that bag or that statement blazer, you're getting it at the best price possible. Great. Okay, we have the crop tops. I'm not sure I'll Ooh. see this in my closet, <laughs> but the crop top is back. Yes, I spy Samantha Stewart in a crop top this evening. <laughs> and the crop top is back, and you don't necessarily have to be 20. It's all in the way you wear it, friends. And with Molly, I've paired it back to this Veronica Beard paisley skirt that's extremely high-waisted. And we're just showing a tiny bit of midriff, similar to what you're seeing with the cutout dresses, where you just peep a little bit of skin. It's absolutely um, acceptable as long as you feel confident. So absolutely do something with the sleeve if you want to tone it down. But I chose this neutral because you can really play with all your prints. And I love the wrap skirt. Or it yeah. looks like a wrap, no? It's a faux wrap. It's, it's a zipper. faux It's a frap. 
Yes, frap. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag frap. <laughs> I love it. Yes, yes. Now, Molly, can you walk through the, oh, that bag. Is that fabulous? It is amazing. That is not even my so-called fabulous. That's no, beyond that, fabulous. That, yes. And the jacket is beautiful. Yes. All by Veronica Beard as well as ALC. So I've seen a lot of, of jackets, either a mix of denim and the vegan leather, mm -hmm. and then you have a crocheted look mm -hmm. because we were talking about the nudes and the hues and mm -hmm. the tone on tones, mm -hmm. right? And that's exactly yeah. what she has, yes. right? Yes, we're calling that mixed media. So where you see patchwork played into denim, where you see a cashmere sleeve on a vegan leather body, it's adding more texture, which is really in your favor. It, it, we always notice a woman's outfit looks interesting when there's good details. So rather than putting Molly in just a solid ivory denim jacket, I chose this one just to kind of give it a lot more um, interest. And so when you're choosing these pieces for your closet, choose things with details, a puff sleeve, a cropped cool um, length of a jacket, uh, ruffle details in a skirt, like little things that make it interesting so that the pieces you wear it with can be nice and subtle and clean. The Thank end. you, Molly. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Still not sure about the crop top on me. I mean, your body says yes, but your mind <laughs> says no. Says no. Oh, my God. I'm going to just spill the beans that <laughs> Tiffany Blackman is quite modest, and I literally beg her to get edgy sometimes. No, I, I can't. She she The first T-shirt she purchased for me was a, a V-neck. It was a little low, and I went, no, I need a turtleneck. Okay, anyway, <laughs> um, color pop accessories. Oh, my goodness. Mm, this bag is my obsession. Just... Put it in my cart, please. It's going to be in um, the closet. So color pop accessories can be applied to your jewelry, your shoes, uh, your bags, your belts, whatever you choose. But it's, I think, best played in a color blocking situation or on your favorite neutrals, monochromatic looks. So she's got this incredible, vibrant, neon yellow Balenciaga. It's... It's very street cred. I'd put it with sneakers and some really oversized sunglasses. But that's your yeah. brand. That's my brand. That's your brand. It's beautiful. Now, would you call these the chunky sandal too or just the yeah, platform? A little, little bit. We've got a little espadrille going on because she's comfortable. She's running around town. But um, I definitely think that the separates here are by ALC and it's a navy set. I can use these together or I can use them separately. Um, but really, really pretty, like for a fun patio party and good earrings. Alana Kay, I know you have amazing earrings. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. Yeah. So the cutouts are quite popular, right? Oh, yes. I think that's because the quarantine like had us all like annoyed <laughs> with our dressing. And so people really got a chance to like, you know, come out of their... Uh, being at home and start shining at these different events and also want to give a little plug to the women of today that take such good care of their bodies and their health. We, we really should embrace that as like a fun opportunity to show off our hard work. Just absolutely. Yeah. Tiffany There's, included. Yeah. Oh, it's, a up, it's an uphill climb for sure. For sure. You always say that. I do. I do because it is. Kathy Williamson and I were talking about the other day. It is an uphill climb, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the white dress is fabulous. It's not just for sorority recruitment or brides. Mm, yes. So this white dress um, is fantastic. It's a by Marquesa, which Neiman Marcus carries a plethora of. Um, I chose the little eyelet just because it's a beautiful fabric, the feminine qualities. But I think everyone in this room, take a look at your fresh white dresses and see if she needs an update. Because anytime you get those last minute spring and summer invitations in the mail, or evite now, whatever, um, you, you want to have a go-to white dress, especially if you're in an outdoor situation at an espadrille or your favorite comfortable wedge, and it's just an easy chic piece. So give her an update. This one I've paired back to a hot pink to die for, Valentino, mm. Mm -mm. Um, Roman studs again. Also would love to touch on this 
These bags are a top handle crossbody convertible. All of our designers are doing it. You absolutely should get on board with it because it can go day to evening. Yeah. What is the fabric? Yeah, it's a knit. A knit. Yeah. Is this my gift? Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Put it on my favorite. account. Yeah. <laughs> it's fabulous. Yeah. I love this. I love mm -hmm. the crossbody. It's wonderful. And there's your pop of color again. Yes. Pop of color, the white dress trim. We're hitting all the trends all at the same time. And look at the ears. Earrings are beautiful, beautiful, and work with the bag. And again, nude shoes. Nude shoes. <clears throat> beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Molly. Well, you know, when you're looking through a person's closet, <laughs> <laughs> How do you encourage your clients to purge? Because you know I have a very difficult time. Because one time I threw away these purple patent TCU, beautiful Stuart Weitzman's. I, 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 they went to another home. And I have found more reasons to wear this, this beautiful pair of black, uh, the purple patent shoes. They sound horrible, mm -hmm. don't they? Yeah. I mean, they kind of sound crazy, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we love purple around here. But so. you, how do you get people to purge? Um, it's important for me to guide clients through exactly what in your closet is serving you well. So we can't be as sentimental, y'all, as we want to be. Like, does it serve you or is it just taking up space? And, and, and when you really give yourself that real talk and you have me kind of guiding that process, it's a lot easier to see clarity in your wardrobe. Okay, so Alicia has <laughs> my love language on and it's not the trend, let me tell you. <laughs> I am a kimono girl through and through and that's not the trend we're talking about but we will talk about this yes. but the trend is high-waisted denim and I'm going to tell you I'm not a fan Bonnie because I grew up in the 80s and yeah. we were <laughs> we were low riding I mean nothing was showing in the back but yeah. to my knowledge but I mean I there is a certain high waist that works that doesn't hit my ribs so mm -hmm. tell us why Okay, so a high-waisted denim is, is really more of a high fashion statement. It is not for everyone, y'all. Just like all of these trends, this is being the last of our trends list today, you decide what works for your body and what makes you feel incredible. That's what we're going for. We are showing a high-waisted denim because it's kind of meeting us halfway with the crop tops. <laughs> so we're giving yourself balance. You're giving yourself fresh shapes to wear so that you're not doing the same old thing all the time. Variety is the spice of life. We need skinny we need high waist, we need a boyfriend jean, we need all of them to give us a well-rounded uh, wardrobe option so we're not repeating the same thing over and over. Okay, I, I'm going to go back to what I love yeah. in this kimono. I, I'm absolutely in love with this. This is by Etro. I know, and that's not in my budget, but, um, <laughs> but it is gorgeous. Now, um, Bonnie has told me many times, stop buying kimonos, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah. But um, I can use these swim cover-ups. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just wore one to my podcast last week, the Alice and Olivia that I love mm -hmm. that's reversible. Tell us why I or – do you all love a kimono? Yes. Oh, I'm seeing gosh. an overwhelming yes. Yes. And the kimono, y'all, it, it kind of signifies our free spirit. You know, she's not in a stiff jacket – but she wants to look chic and cool. It appeals to our bohemian sides, which we all have some of that within us, that free spirit. I do. So, yeah, you do. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> and so I encourage you to try something uh, like a kimono in place of your regular classic cardigan, you know, just to shake it up. Thank you, Alicia. Beautiful, beautiful. Aren't those trends beautiful? I mean, fabulous, fabulous. I mean, they're, they're amazing. And uh, I really want to, for you, because we've had you all, many people ask us many questions about fashion, and I do turn to you. And I am curious, if, if, you, if you were to buy one statement piece investment, Bonnie, what would that be? I, well, I'm not just you, but <laughs> hello, Chanel back. Yeah. But, um, yeah. 
<laughs> Have you seen her Instagram? <laughs> so what, honestly, would you tell every single age demographic, what would be their investment piece? Um, I would say a gorgeous coat is an amazing investment piece. If you're looking at, at, at a wardrobe in general, I think a beautiful coat is going to be like the frame to the art. Um, an amazing quality handbag, and that does not necessarily have to be, you know, YSL Chanel. It can be just a beautifully made leather bag um, with nice top handles and something that you can see yourself carrying daily that looks tidy. So mm -hmm. I would say my biggest investments with clients are um, probably bags and probably beautiful jewelry. Those are the things that you're going to have the longest in your wardrobe. Those are things you're going to pass down to your daughter or whomever. And they're things that are going to hold their value. I look at your wardrobe as an investment, whether it's a t-shirt or whether it's a handbag. You want things that are going to come and stay for a long time. Quality. So, yes. Okay, so you talk about that, and we do. I remember when I graduated TCU, I had an investment piece, and I do, and I still have the investment piece. Um, I took out, I mean, what I was paying, $5.27 a month for seven years, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. That was really smart, <laughs> right? I'm still, what, wait, I'm still paying for it. What piece was it? Oh, gosh, it was It was a Gucci bag. Oh, yay. I mean, it was fabulous. It is yeah. fabulous. Yeah. still in my closet. Mm -hmm. But um, when you are... Talking again, I'm going to bring this back because I get this a lot. We want to look like so many people that are in the audience today. We want to have that look, all right, mm -hmm. that luxury look. What do you think about the luxury look and going to the box stores and buying pieces that you mix and match? What are your thoughts on that? So I, I'm a huge fan of mixing Agreed. Mixing a high and mixing a low, it's it's the new modern way, y'all. Even even my clients that have zero budgets are looking to see what Zara is doing. They're looking to see what our big designer houses are doing. So finding a nice little balance in between where if it's a trendy piece, it doesn't necessarily have to be the highest um, end item. But I would say just experiment. That's what I would encourage you to do. Try something new and experiment with it, but maybe test buying it at a lower end first. Um, I'll give an example. I purchased a pair of combat boots last year because I didn't know if they were going to be my vibe. Instead of buying the Fendi, I bought the Sam Edelman. I wore them to death, and now I own the Fendi. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, giving yourself a chance to try something out first before you go straight um, to the investment might be a good idea. Definitely. And um, I see that a lot. Mm -hmm. And I also see that the younger generations are having a difficult time doing that. Social media plays into that thought process. Am yeah. I right or am you're, I right? No, you're absolutely right. We're trying to keep up, yes. We're trying to keep it fresh yeah. and lively. We're trying to keep it go. fresh. We're also uh, constantly looking at somebody's new outfit that they may not even own. So we a comparison is the thief of joy. Uh, you must decide what is authentic to me don't go broke doing it at the same time, but also do it for yourself. I mean, I encourage all of my clients and my friends alike to dress in a way that empowers you and you alone, because we're not all meant to be the same. Last week, I had a group of women from Dallas on uh, She Get Every Age. Yes, girls. Yes, yes, and they're in the audience. And um, Yes, girls. Um, what a great concept, because we were all talking, and, and I uh, was talking about, in fact, I purchased a suit that, it, 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 it was an impulse buy. Don't you think that it was, was an, an impulse, it was impulse buy. buy? I didn't even sanction that. No, but. you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so I was no. going to wear it to the podcast, <laughs> and the shorts were so much shorter than the actual blazer. And I'm looking at my 57-year-old self and going, oh, girl, do not do this. Don't embarrass yourself. My daughter is going, mother, you work so hard on your body. I mean, go and mm -hmm. two things here. What do you say about the 57-year-old self, me, mm -hmm. okay, and wearing age-appropriate items? Mm. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> 
I know you have um, a thought on that. I do have a thought on that. Um, if there's anyone that's ever worked with me or knows me, I don't like fashion to have rules. So for people to say you're 40 and you're no longer able to rock that mini skirt, I think we know better than that of the women in this room. It, it is absolutely about your level of confidence and does it fit into your lifestyle? You know, do you have the lifestyle to embrace that trend or that midriff? You work really hard on your Peloton every morning and you really want to show off your legs, please do so. So I, I encourage Tiffany Blackman to do the same. Um, and it's okay if you are a naturally a modest person, don't fight that. I mean, don't go against that. Um, be true to yourself. But, but do claim something um, that you enjoy and not claim it because of your age. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. That's very yeah. true. Okay, remind me because Heather Anderson, with so Heather mentioned the thief of joy. Can you mm. repeat that again? Mm. Comparison is the thief of joy. How many people in this room live by comparison, right? We do. Ooh, no, yeah. Paige, no. Okay, I, <laughs> no, no, Elena, I am so excited because it's very difficult to, mm -hmm. especially being young, and no, I'm not young, but young as in years in social media mm -hmm. to go, oh my gosh, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that, mm -hmm. not wearing this, this, mm -hmm. but I am understanding with maturity that you do find your niche. Oh, absolutely. You find your niche. You do find your niche. And absolutely. It, and and y'all, our social media platforms are meant to shine and share. They're not, they're not meant to brag. They're not necessarily in, or they're not really intended for any other reason other than to promote our businesses, connect with our communities, Liz Nelson, who I met on Instagram. Um, it's a great way for us to support and lift each other up through these beautiful visual contents. And so to look at another woman and to see what she has going on, that's her journey. We're happy for it. Mm -hmm. And it does. I think it takes time uh, in our society to start to feel comfortable and proud of where we are in our own life. So, yeah, I mean, fashion, it, it, can, it can be exciting, and it can take us down a road of comparisons. So I know. And I, be I, careful. I have something to say about every person in this room, but Aaron Barnett rocks a pair of socks and heels oh every day. Oh, my gosh. Oh, if you haven't. If you oh. ever want to take a risk in fashion, just look to our girl, Erin. Yeah, Erin's <laughs> over here in the corner. Yes. Socks with heels. I love it. And I tried it, Erin, and it didn't look very good. Uh, it didn't, me. yeah. Yeah. It um, was not the vibe. My Lululemon, <laughs> my Lululemons didn't look great with my Louboutins. Yes. It just was not working. I tried to get, <laughs> but there's that, you know, and then breaking the ceiling, the glass ceiling, bursting through. I think of Stacey Danford, the neuroscientist in this room, that's all about color, mm -hmm. all about color. She is not one of those neuroscientists that <laughs> is just wearing, well, she's wearing black today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's wearing black today, but she's all about color, and she's breaking the mold mm -hmm. of of the stereotypical career, mm -hmm. and it's amazing to me. Ooh, no more formalities. I love no it. more I love formalities. It. I, I know every Yay. one of you. Yay! Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm going to finish this, but I want you to talk to me about because. This woman went into Greg Blackman, my husband's <laughs> closet, last week and took seven trash bags to a very needy cause. Um, I was a nervous wreck. I'm like, but he needs this, this. And he walked in, and he loves, he adores Bonnie, and she's going through all his stuff. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, he had old Blackman Mooring stuff. I mean, just oh, no. it was bad. Rough. But he had probably ten a sweater vest, right? Yes. <laughs> no. Old, old oh, Ralph old Lauren pill. sweater vest. Pill, pill. Sorry, Greg. Yeah, sorry, baby. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, I have to say, it, for those of you with a significant other male in the house, you must help them. They... <laughs> 
when it, it is so important to keep them looking as fresh and fabulous as we do. And trust me, I, I can only get my man to wear Zara t-shirts and That's Lululemon. True. It's pretty sad. It's like Steve Jobs. Um, it's okay. They don't have to be fashion forward, but we got to keep them looking like fresh, you know, new, new, fresh things. So. Yes. And he um, walked around the corner and I was a nervous wreck because I know there's sentimental value because here's me, but I didn't want him to be upset. But um, she looked and she held on that. She goes, Greg, when's the last time you were rocking this vest, huh? And he goes, straight, get it out of here. So, But, you know, when you purge, um, you definitely, definitely, when you purge um, clothing items, what does Nikki Ferris say? That you're giving joy to someone mm-hmm. else. For yeah. sure. Yeah, I mean, someone else's treasure. And I'm, I'm it's, Samantha, you're amazing when it comes to sustainable fashion. And I, I believe that wardrobe pieces I'm not as sentimental because it's so things are very replaceable you know we are the things uh, we are the importance the things are replaceable so keeping yourself like revolving and fresh we thrift we resell we buy full retail we buy on sale all of the things it's just a collection of all of it you said everything's replaceable not those purple shoes girl clearly (laughs) (laughs) for a reason for a reason (laughs) for a reason reason for sure but you are yes. your clientele you have a large group of men clientele that's I do coming. actually I don't show them on Instagram really they, they don't they like they Instagram don't like that at all but, but yes men men um absolutely love to have fresh pieces that they can mix and match that are they're huge into comfort much more so than we are and and they also too want to feel um fresh and confident and modern in their age and business and in life so mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, that's an easy, a lot of husband and wife combinations for me. Absolutely. Well, I cannot tell you how much, again, I appreciate you being in my life, being in so many fabulous men and women's lives and, and believing in my brand and supporting because Neiman Marcus doing this and trusting myself and you has been huge. So Bonnie, shop with Bonnie. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone, thank you so much for joining us today on My So-Called Fabulous. It has been a wonderful day. Thank you to Neiman Marcus and all of these wonderful people here today. Hey, go to Apple, Spotify, rate, review. Let us know what you'd like to hear, what you'd like to see, maybe, (laughs) right? Yes. And everyone, follow along at Tiffany C. Blackman. And everyone, keep being fabulous. 